Back, the Drake women's basketball team is a lock for the NCAA tournament, but they'd still like to defend their conference title this weekend. What has made Jenny Baranchek's team so good? Easy. An unselfish brand of basketball passed down from one class to the next. The Drake women's basketball team is all about we over me. This team loves playing basketball and they love playing together, and to me, they are the epitome of a team. It shows on the court. We all are looking to make the extra pass to find a great shot, um, and it just makes for fun basketball. And in the stat lines. We want to have multiple scoring threats. We want to have everybody's playing defense, everybody's rebounding, um, and our senior class does an incredible job of being able to lead that every day. The four seniors on this team continue to pass that mindset on. Junior Becca Hittner may be benefiting most. The way that they have led this team this year has just been incredible. Um, I can look to each and every one of them for advice and just guidance. And, you know, they're all really good basketball players, too, which makes them fun to play with. And they've just been awesome. Hittner has been awesome in her own right, leading the Bulldogs with nearly 20 points per game. For Jenny Baranchek, it's not just her scoring that continues to impress. She's not just a shooter. She's not just a scorer. She's defending on a different level. She's rebounding on a different level. Uh, she's passing on a different level. She really believes in her team. The team that is fresh off of their third consecutive MVP regular season title and chasing a third straight Valley Tournament Championship to match. I love this team. I love the way we're playing together right now. We're having a ton of fun playing. Um, we're playing a lot of people and that to me is, is the best part. We're getting everybody's best shot and I think that's really prepared us for this tournament. And Drake will play the winner of Indiana State and Valpo on Friday at noon. The Bulldogs' only conference loss this season came to Missouri State, who's on the other side of the bracket as the two seed.